Hello everybody, this is Centric. Welcome to, uh, part 10? Yeah, part 10. Resident Evil Zero, still recording post-audio because I screwed up. And now I'm joined by these two noisy weirdos. Welcome to the <laughs> What are you, a Pokemon? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, I'm a Pokemon! I'm Gwen Gwen! See, Cruz, this is the crap I have to deal with. Kirk, Kirk's uh, already... Yes, go ahead. No, I was just saying, Kirk's already knows. He's, he knows me for the last five years, too. You uh, both know. I'm also the only one of the two who's actually caught up on your videos, Panda. Shh! Yes. Shh. Are you slacking on watching my videos? No, re okay, I've been watching anime, okay? See, exactly. Then I get, uh, this is, this is why I, I told you to stop with the anime. <laughs> the worst person ever! Oh, crap, I dropped something. Apparently, you've got a short attention span, too. Yeah, that actually is true, sadly. <laughs> Anyways, nice to meet you all. My name's Crax. He's a Canadian. Think of him as the Z Royal Viking of the group. As as Panda yawns over here, going. <laughs> well, you can blame XCOM for that. Oh, come, come down, Gra Grandpa, so Grandpa Panda. Go take a nap, sa. Go take a nap. I'm only a few years older than you. Are you sure about that? We're like eighty-something years old. I will cut to you. See, see, everybody, see, see, I told you, he's abusive, he tries to cut me! Well, you shouldn't be made sure a bacon. Are you sure that's not just because that you're annoying at this point? Ow! That hurt! Fuck you, too! See, this guy's trying to read a book and you're interrupting him again. With your weird voices and things. And of course he goes into the sexy monologue. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, he's just, he's just talking to the non-existent zombies in the room. Uh, I think there's zombies in the next room. Uh, hence, hence the painting, man, a uh, woman in love with zombies. <laughs> hey, panda! There's your girlfriends in the tank. The leeches. I'm not even sure if those things are leeches. I think they are. If if they are, I wonder if they'll like Gwynkun. Oh, oh no, he, oh, you missed, oh, uh, wait, you already saw a Crux, I think, if I believe so. Panda was getting kissed by a, a leech man, yes, uh, on one of the videos. No, yes, yes. I was not. Yes, I heard, I heard all about it, you don't need to go into detail about it. Oh, gosh. Fine. You ruined my fun. Now you've just had too much fun, you need to calm down, take a step back. I will never calm down! I freaking hate this about this game. It's probably I'm probably gonna have to hate that in Resident Evil 1 also. Mm, I'm not really understanding what's happening here. Okay, basically so. I'm, I'm having to deal with a bunch of puzzles and finding certain items and crap like that. In that one room I was just in... There's a zombie that is clearly going to t uh, wake up and attack me at some point. Just sitting there on the ground. <laughs> and there's tons of those throughout the game. Uh, and it's pretty obvious for anyone who is a complete idiot to know that that thing's going to come to life at some point. So you'd think that you could just shoot it early and get it over with. But it doesn't let you damage them as long as they're not waking up. Yeah... As he leaves the room. Well, I left the room to try to reposition the thing because they they move back whenever you leave the room. Oh, it's doing it to try to not get bitten. All right. Now see, now see that's playing smart. Well, I've been having to do that because this game is just evil. It is evil. It's in its name. Hate you. Ow. See what you made me do. It's your fault. He's allergic to your nonsense. Yeah. But I'm Green King! See, see, and it takes like six shots to kill these things, too. Six sh That's a waste of bullets! 
Well, that's no wonder the... you have a run out of ammo in most episodes. Well, yeah, because like, I mean, the only time it doesn't take six shots is if you get a critical hit and blow its head off. Now what? Now what happens if you run out of ammo? How do you? How do they expect you to fight? You don't. He they had... don't expect you to fight unless you have a knife. But I don't carry the knife on me because it's practically useless unless you're fighting like normal leeches instead of leech zombies. Well, I was still carrying around just in case. Well, the problem is you get so little inventory that I can't afford to. Because any big gun or the hook shot or whatever takes up two slots and you only get six slots per character. It's not like the bigger guns are a waste. No, they're, they're useful against bosses or stronger enemies. It's just a matter of you only get so much inventory space and that's one of the worst parts of this game. Ah. Uh, don't they expand that in the li in the later versions, though? Well, that's the thing, is this came out after Resident Evil 1 did. But I think in Resident Evil 1, you might have a bigger inventory simply for the fact that you only play as one character instead of two. Now, see, that makes sense. This one, you're split between two characters, so, and it's, it well, looks to be very hard. <laughs> it is very hard. Also, the problem is that... Uh, you you play as two characters, but if one dies, it's game over, and uh, it doesn't exactly feel like they're giving you enough herbs to make up for the fact that you have two characters that can get damaged. And on top of that, Rebecca is practically a burden, because he can take twice as many hits before, like, he can take twice as many hits as she can. Uh... I mean, the only, still, the only benefit she has over him is the fact that she can shoot faster. Well, in that case, shouldn't she be following him as, like, a support or something? Instead of you having her idol in some godforsaken uh, hallway down in La La Land? Well, the problem is, this is in this part of the game, they're separated. There's a lot of parts in the game where they get separated uh, completely. Like, she's on a upper floor that I can't get to until I get to a certain point where oh, it's okay. like there's there's one big room in this entire facility where uh, there's an, uh, both floors in one room and that's basically what I'm working toward in this uh, one video okay but uh gets even worse towards the end uh, it's either towards the end of this video or toward in the beginning of this uh, in the next video which I'm thinking you may as well just do post commentary for the rest of Resident Evil because it honestly seems like better commentary yeah and plus not having to deal with you saying sorry guys got a positive recording to do shit again <laughs> Well, a lot of the times I was pausing the recording, it was either because I was doing something that was uh, redundant and people wouldn't want to watch, because I didn't want to just fill up the video with me just backtracking. Well, yeah, you kind of got to get make things interesting for them. Yeah. Well, uh... I know. Uh, to the but, viewer, uh, to the viewers of this video, maybe leave a comment um, down below. We'd like to hear your opinion on this. Like, do you want to s to see the mechanics of the video or whatever he's doing when he has the video paused or whatever? <laughs> but all I'm doing is running back and forth between rooms, moving items. Usually, either I'm doing that. Or I'm fighting against a ridiculously hard enemy, like I'm going to be doing in this video, which is exactly why I decided to do this post-commentary thing instead of redoing all of those videos, because... Because you messed up on the audio. Well, it's <laughs> Don't deny just... it. <laughs> well, I know the reason I'm doing the post-commentary is because I messed up on the audio, but the, point, the fact of the matter is, I had two choices. I could either do this post-commentary stuff, or I could have... Uh, 
just replay the whole section again? Yeah, replay the whole section. The problem is it took me about six hours to do two hours worth of video. Oh, he coming for that booty. <laughs> God damn, they take a lot of shots. Oh god, now he's twitching. He's dead, though. Still, you, that you, twitching. You can tell they're dead when they're bleeding out. Although, yeah. that's gonna be in a whole other issue in Resident Evil 1. Because, uh... Well, what, so even if they're twitching, they could damage you or something? No. Uh... When they remade Resident Evil, like, in, in, in the original... God, that's still really creepy. In the original PlayStation 1 Resident Evils, uh, they died like that. Like, you'd shoot them and they'd start bleeding out and then they were dead for good. That's not how it works in Resident Evil 1. Resident Evil, well, in the Resident Evil 1 remake. In the Resident Evil 1 remake, uh, when you shoot them, they'll bleed out like that to make you think they're dead, but they're not actually dead unless you either blow their head off or you light the corpse on fire. Uh, which you had to do with it, uh, practically every single one, right? Yeah. Which I don't think uh, there was okay. enough stuff to actually do that with everyone. And uh, the thing is, if you don't do that, after a certain point in the game, every zombie that you didn't either light on fire or uh, decapitate would come back later as a uh, crimson head, which was much stronger and faster. Now, see, why didn't they do do that in this version? Because it would have made it a lot more interesting than just running around solving puzzles all day. Well, the thing is, you do a lot more backtracking in Resident Evil 1 than you do in this. Because mm. you progress uh, between, like, four different areas in this one, but in Resident Evil uh, 1, you're moving back and forth around just one big mansion. Okay. Oh, so you got the red chemical now. Oh, wait, how many chemicals do you have now? Well, hold on. Yeah, th this is the BS I was talking about. Because this guy comes to life, and, but then also just now the zombie that was always laying on the ground until now is up. Yay! Plot points. I don't know. So I get this key, and then I get completely screwed over by the next room. This is what took wait, me... Wait, 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 Was... Did that say breeding room key? Yeah, a breeding room for leeches or monsters. Oh my god. Uh, that doesn't sound nice. Well, he won't think I it's know, nice I'm when he... I'm just eating the obvious now. <laughs> yeah, you'll see, uh, exactly what it is I had to go through. Why is getting quiet? I know. Yeah. I'm here. I've been letting uh, Crux talk. <laughs> well, you were talk quiet for like ten minutes, I think. Has it really been ten minutes? Seriously. Uh, it's been thirteen minutes since we started recording. And, uh, we got another oh, almost about eighteen minutes is it, okay to be is it okay to be showing that bar? Oh, oh wait, yeah, because I'm cutting I'm cutting yeah, out the video. Only, yeah. I'm only recording the audio for this. Yeah, so our voices won't only our voices will be picked up. Fancy. Well, it's technically recording the uh, video and audio, but when I put it in the editor, I just delete the uh, video for this recording and then just put the uh, audio over okay. the uh, old video recording. All right, that works. Just cut and paste. Pretty much. So let's talk about the tales of Sa How about not? Aww. Weird. Now, now see, now see, everybody, everybody watching this video. I'm, uh, I'm the one who's considered the hyperactive one, and yet here's. Sailor Gwyn Gwyn here. I, going. <laughs> I'm not gonna go with that. No, we are not doing this again. You're not gonna traumatize me with that freaking thing. Sailor Gwyn. Oh, what about Tuxedo Panda? But I'm not Tuxedo Panda. I've never worn a tuxedo in my life. Really? 
I've never had a reason to. Fan fiction, start. <laughs> what about, no, what about Sailor Cruxy? Oh, his hats for Panda Sama. No. I'd be badass at being a Sailor Scout. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, if you think about it, wouldn't Panda be too? Because remember, he said he had long hair. What yeah, does long he, hair he, have he, to do with me being a Sailor Scout? <laughs> that flowing hair I'd in the wind. Not. I don't know. This is the most. Wait. Okay. What? Is it because of the uh, inventory issues that you're having, or? Oh wait. Yeah, it's inventory. It's inventory. I was wondering why you didn't pick up that herb there. Oh, I I pick up the herb in a second. Uh, this was at a point where I was like, uh, I think I was getting ready to save, and then I'd pick up that herb. Heal what little I could, because a green herb alone barely heals you. Mm. Like, uh, right now she's in... There's there's four states of uh, health in this game. There's there's fine, caution, danger, and poison, right? Well, no. There's, there's fine, yellow caution, then orange caution, and then danger. And Ew. poison is something else entirely. Tech? Technically, that was right, though. <laughs> I didn't know that the caution changed from yellow to orange, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Crux, do you, do you agree with me about his Billy character that he looks like, like like James Bond, kind of, you know, with the shades and the suit? He's like, I'm Billy. James looks, Billy. He looks more like a gangster to me. Yeah, mafioso. Sort of thing, yeah. I don't know. But his original costume made him look... I don't know. Hey, his original to... costume made him look like... Well, exactly what he was, someone who broke out of jail. Panda trying to be hipster. No, it was just the only decent costume. The rest of the costumes looked ridiculous. I really wish I cooked dinner tonight. Now I'm hungry for it. You're hungry for a lot of things, Gin. I want curry! You eat too much curry. I haven't had curry in, in a couple months. You lie. Oh, okay. Uh, talking about food in the middle of a recording. <laughs> he was talking about me on drugs the other last night. Yeah, yeah, I heard, I heard. Like, what episode was your favorite episode of Game Grumps? The one where Gin talked about curry for a really long time. <laughs> Don't judge me on my curry. Everyone's <laughs> judging you. Can't judge me. The world is judging you. The world can judge me, and they can all take it with them up the butt. You shouldn't say that to the audience, kid. Uh, well, I'm just saying. That, I'm just saying. I don't. I don't care for their opinions. You know, if they don't like me, they don't like me. That's, so what? That's mean. I mean, it's a true statement, though. If it is. Like, it is reasonable. Yeah, if they don't like me, they don't like me. You can't. It's. You're not people. In, the, in this world, there is no such thing as people pleasers. I don't know. I mean, like, I, like, like they, they can have the trolls and whatnot and be like, this guy is horrible, he's just faking his attitude. Which I'm not. But... It, it, mm, it's you're, the, you're kind of blurring the line with the attitude thing again. <laughs> okay, okay, the way I was going, blurring the attitude. Okay, that forced that, but... Uh, but in the end, though, it's not, you're not, it's, yeah, you're supposed to please your audience, but if they're going to leave hate, don't, just ignore them. I go, if you're going to, if you don't like something, don't leave, don't leave a hate comment. If you don't like it, you don't like it, just go somewhere else. Well, you I know mean, that no one's going to follow that. No one's ever followed that. In fact, when someone says that, they usually leave even more hate comments just to be a prick. Oh, they can leave hate comments. Oh, well, that reminds me of a video I watched the other day with PewDiePie interacting with that, um, when he did a video of those videos on P the channel PewDiePie Sucks. Oh, oh God, that was so funny. Huh. People, people hate because they hate. They just want, they want the, people only leave hate comments or hate videos because they want attention. That's all they want, is craving for attention. 
and a lot of YouTubers pointed that out as well, is that if you leave a hate comment, they're not le actually leaving it. It's because they want attention, because they know the fans are going to get pissed off about it, and then spam them. They just crave for attention. Well, yeah, they also crave to just annoy people. Yeah. This is more, this is like a philosophy episode now, or whatnot. Well, I'm also, I'm also, I just ate a lot, I just ate some shrimp, so my belly full, so I'm like, like, sleep mode. You're fired. Well, I was hungry! You're always hungry. Well, ain't bacon supposed to be, you know, cook, you know, you feed the pig till it's plump and then you kill it? Are you saying we should take a machete to you? Fire no. Bacon. <laughs> I'm not saying come over, cut me up, sell me to the freaking supermarket. Time to sell it. Wait, you. wait, wait. This isn't kink time. Literally. That's not what. I you take things out of context so much, Crux. That's one thing, everybody. You're going to get to know. Crux, we can say the simplest and non disturbing thing, and he will turn it into something horrible, graphical that will scar you for the rest of your life. I think you're being a little overly dramatic. It's true, though. It is true that he does this. Uh huh. You have no proof of it. Yes, I do. I'll find it. <laughs> and yet you are scarred for life by damned. Oh God! Don't no no <laughs> no! Screw you! <laughs> Screw you and your damn freaking life! And what not. Pa Panda, Panda, shouldn't you practice what, what you preach? I seem to remember you you screaming in a uh, dead space when you were playing, and just because we were in a Sky Skype call and I was, uh, and I just kept humming Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. I wasn't screaming, I was getting annoyed. <laughs> twinkle, Twinkle, Again, <laughs> I will cut out your voice box. <laughs> See, like that. <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't like. He doesn't like when we were had him scare him. Oh, oh that wait, doesn't no. scare me. I just don't like when you sing. I say try to, calm down, calm down. But I'm saying, but Crooks, remember though, when we played Dam, Panda didn't want to be the last one because he was scared. When we died, he literally was scared. Well, it was frustrating it's because. No, you were not frustrated. You were scared. You were whining like a little baby doll. Oh, well, no. It's because I need you as a human shield. No, when I died, because the kitty had mercy on me that night after that incident, Krugs died because he got lost. And then you were by yourself. You're like, I don't want to play. I don't want to do this. I, I got to go in the dark. It's so dark in these woods. I can't see. And then there's a ghost girl after me. And now I'm seeing it. I was like, oh, God, there it is. Run. Please kill me. No, don't go away. Again, you're exaggerating severely. No, I was not exaggerating. Yes, you are. Crooks, did he do that at one point? When I said I didn't want to play because I don't. I don't like playing solo horror games. That should be pretty evident by my Resident Evil playthrough. Uh, I've, ne I've never played a solo horror game until this game. Well, well, I've, ne I've never gotten out of my way to play one. But the thing is, though, the scariness is the fun part. I mean, it's not even that scary. It's just stressful. Well, I mean, damned. Well, damn had also a lot of bugs in it, too, that we couldn't even complete a level for the longest time. The only time we ever completed a level was when the kitty fell asleep. No, I'm talking about remember that every now and then we couldn't find the next piece and we literally looked everywhere. Oh, yeah, that that's more of a Yeah, it was, it was where... that one glitch where it didn't highlight the item that we needed. No, I, and... I think it was like a glitch where... Uh... It didn't spawn the items. No, it spawned the item, but it would spawn it behind a locked door that was only possible to spawn in. And we didn't have enough people to actually make... A character spawn in there. I don't know. Because remember when we um when we played that restaurant one, we couldn't even leave the first room because the key wasn't in there. Well, I know. That's what I told you. That, that's that was that's literally what I just said. The key was probably in one of the locked rooms. And that... But didn't you guys have like four pe four or five people playing at the same time in that game? Yeah, we had no, four people. We, we would at most we would have like one monster, and then 
three pe- three to four people, depending on if Sky played with us. Yeah. So, yeah, we had enough people to make it spawn. It just didn't spawn. No, it was more of it spawned us too close to each other instead of spawning us in random rooms. Well, no, that was the... No, the, I said the restaurant, the one where you start at the front desk, which you spawn all together in there. Then you Isn't go... that the hotel and the, re- and the restaurant you spawn in the kitchen? No. No, that's the... Um, that's the hotel. Oh, so no, watch, I... watch this. Watch this. This is what's about, I'm about to have to deal with. This load of BS. Ooh, dungeons. No, those are animal cages. Oh, he gets to play with the monkeys! No, I get to play with the hunters. hunters. Ooh, fancy. They're out for blood. But no, Chris, I'm talking... Oh, they're out, oh they... they're out for something. <laughs> they attack so fast that you just can't fire at them. Oh, and there's another one. And I'm about to die in, like, one hit. Um, and Kirk, so I was ta- I'm talking about the restaurant one where you start at the front desk, you open the first door, then you're in, like, a room full of tables, and then you open the next door, it's a room full of tables with boxes in the corner, then you go into, like, the storage where all those clocks are, and toilet. Yeah, 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 that's the, re- that's the restaurant. Most people spawn in the kitchen in that level. But that, that's, where, that's where the ending is, though. The kitchen's the ending in that one. Oh no no no! It's the room past the kitchen. That's that's the ending. The kitchen just doesn't have anything. Why are we talking about this? <laughs> I forgot. It's because Gin wants to play it so badly. I do he, not. He's, he's looking it. forward to Halloween so much. I am not looking forward to Halloween. You can go kiss that Halloween up your butt. You're uh, at least trying God. to make sense with your sentences. If we have to play sentences. horror games, if we have to play co-op horror games, uh, like for the five days before Halloween. There's going to be problems. <laughs> well, here, here's what you guys need to do. You need to somehow get a better PC by I Halloween, play. and then we can play, like, Dying Light or something, because that's not exactly scary. And I'm dead. Yeah, be... Yeah. Because pandemics, I, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's because that's oh. how screwed up this game is. Like, I pause it here, well, and then it takes me about five tries, which takes over an hour. Uh, to freaking but pa- kill but Panda things. didn't you but didn't you say that you were waiting on inventory issues for that green herb in that what in that one room? No, because uh, af- after, after that first time I died, I always used the green herb. Okay, no, no, it looked like you had left the green herb behind, and you. Well, I know out. that. Like I said, like I just said, like the the first time I did it, I left the green herb behind. Then after the times that I didn't record, like I tried it five times while not recording. Uh, I and you're still at danger herb. level. Yeah, because that's how screwed up this game is. It's not screwed up. It just tests your survival instincts. It's like shoot first, ask questions later. This is a normal mode. That's- <laughs> and yet you're having such a rough time with it. Oh, That's how hard these old games were. But okay, it's, but it's okay, kind of, well, it's okay. Technically new, Panda. They didn't have Resident Evil Zero back then. I mean, in okay, Resident Evil, okay, okay. okay. I mean, in okay, Resident Another Evil... question for the viewers: what? Do you want a uh, Do you want Synthric to play like Chaos Nightmare or another hard mode, the hardest difficulty of the next solo horror game he has to go through? No. He should play Outlast on max difficulty. I'm not playing. Oh, yes. any, I'm not playing any horror games that I can't fight back in. That's where I draw the line. But that's the point of sca- being scared. No, I do not like playing horror games I can't fight back in. I'm not playing no freaking FNAF. I'm not playing no. It says the guy who wants me to play Emily wants to play. Well, yeah, because you can do it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> See, at least, at least when you do, it'll be entertaining. This man. You're you're bumming ideas off of your friends. Exactly. <laughs> He's you see people. I'm just a tool for your <laughs> entertainment. He doesn't care about me. He just he he wants me to uh, play, nah, 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 to nah, play nah. so he can have some amusement. Because torture well, is No, yeah, yeah, kind of. He just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, we've got. Why'd you guys get silent? We're still here. Oh. Yeah, we're still here. Well, you well, were saying something. <laughs> we've got about two minutes left for this episode. Oh, God. This this episode wasn't that much talkative, because I will say that. 
You just went on off. You just went off on a tangent again. <laughs> yeah, it's because you keep run. You keep just going off in random conversations. <laughs> Well, I act, well, to be honest with that, that and this may as well I, just be called off topic, just well, like a uh, freaking the Rooster Teeth podcast. Well, te- well, technically the other two episodes were off topic as well. Well, yeah. And the, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna admit some. The first ten minutes, I actually slightly fell asleep. Now, see, this is the 18 plus. Uh, this is the 18 plus episode. <laughs> How is it 18? Well, well, I think it was 18 plus already, just because of the game. Uh, well, every, yeah, well, yeah. This... Well, every horror game's rated M, so it has um, horrible content in it. Uh, five yeah. minutes of Freddy One. Or wait, is it? You can't. I don't. Okay. After a while, I don't consider Five Nights at Freddy's even consider it a horror game anymore. And yet, so, you're still terrified to play it. No, I just can't get past Night Four. No, Night Three because the freaking duck. I should say, Chica <laughs> will not leave the bloody window. She's a and... chicken, not a duck. Oh. <laughs> oh what is wrong God. with you? I thought it was a duck. <laughs> Which world is she a duck in? <laughs> Literally. It's her secret identity. She's supposed to be a chicken, but she's a duck. I don't think so. I think she's a dog. Secretly, she was Markiplier's dog the whole time. Oh god, don't get started on that. Also, yeah, no. we've got about... 10 seconds. Think of something I... to end on. Hmm, to end on. Leaving it with you guys. Uh, <laughs> I'll break you again. Anyways, it's over. Bye!